I'm Henry Albert, Freightliner Team Run Smart Pro, and today I would like to talk to you about a feature that doesn't readily get noticed on the all new 2018 Cascadia. The subject today is bump steer. Bump steer is sort of a neat term to me because I used to build my own race cars and we paid quite a bit of attention to bump steer as it greatly affected the handling characteristics of our race cars. It's no different in our truck except for the fact we usually put in more miles at the end of the day. Bump steer is the amount of correction it takes from the driver on the steering wheel to make up for the suspension moving through its travel. So I'm going to open up the hood so I can show you where the changes in these components were made. The front suspension has been completely redesigned for the 2018 Cascadia. If you look in under the engine bay here, you will notice that the front leaf springs are much longer than they used to be. This helps by not picking up spring rate as quickly as a short spring, thus making for a less harsh ride. In my case, I have the 13,300 pound suspension which takes it from being a mono leaf to a two leaf spring setup per side. The big difference of where you get bump steer is how long the steering arm may be. There's geometry involved here that on the previous Cascadia, the steering box was mounted back here, which meant that the steering arm off of the gearbox was attached to the shaft at about this point. With it mounted there, that made this arm much shorter. As the suspension travels up and down, it is mounted rigid to the steering box here, so it has to pivot. So think of that arm when it was this short of having a movement that creates quite a bit of an arc. Being that is hooked to the steering knuckle, which is what controls our steering the axle, that makes a correction that you have to make on the steering wheel even though you don't notice it. When you see somebody going down the road moving their arms back and forth, they're correcting for the amount of bump steer that's in the suspension. With that arm twice as long, that makes the arc much less. By moving the steering box as far forward as they did, they have managed to cut down the amount of corrections we have to make by 50%. What does that mean to us as a driver? What it means is we are much better rested at the end of the day. We are not wore out and fatigued from correcting for the uneven surfaces, potholes, bridges, and everything else that we drive these trucks over. I hope that if you get a chance to drive one of these, that you realize that there's much more put into this truck than just a redesigned exterior. It goes all the way down to the innermost components of this truck. Everything is different now. And as fine as I like the old Cascadia, there is no comparison to the amount of advancements that have been put into the new 2018 Cascadia. Till next time, be safe, and I look forward to speaking to you once again on my next video blog.